Hi, welcome back to Tybee Times. So it's Memorial Weekend. The weather's really yucky out. And I'm going to make some clams. I've already done a batch and brought them upstairs to my landlord and wanted to make sure that it was good before I made a video. And he really likes them. So I'm going to do a couple dozen clams in a, in a sauce that starts out with a, garlic, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, fresh garlic, butter. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dry vermouth, a little bit of white wine, a little bit of lemon juice, and some chopped garlic, you know, like jarred garlic. I'm going to put that in as well. Now, I have, this is like a really nice roll that I had in the freezer, defrosted. I spread butter on it and some garlic powder on it. And I baked it in the oven for five minutes. It wrapped in that aluminum foil. Now it's out and I, I opened it up and I've, I've put cheese on it. And this is the cheese I put on it. It's an Italian blend. Okay, see what it is? Mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan, Romano, Fontina. So that is what's on the bread. And I'm gonna put that back in the oven for another five minutes, maybe six minutes once the clams start steaming in this broth. So stay with me. Okay, so we're back. I put a half a stick of butter in this pot. I two cloves of chopped up garlic and a little bit of olive oil. And now I'm gonna add a capful, just a capful, and it's just lemon juice. It's not fresh lemon juice. So a cap full of lemon juice. Excuse me for a second. Alexa, cancel alarm. And I'm gonna do a splash of extra dry vermouth. Just a splash. I'm sorry, Alexa's talking to me. Alexa, please stop. And now I'm gonna add some Pinot Grigio. Just a little bit of that as well. I'm thinking like a half cup. And I have jarred garlic. Yes, I put fresh garlic in, but I'm gonna put a tablespoon of jarred garlic in there also. Okay, so there's where we are. I'm gonna turn this on. Bring that up to temperature. And then I'm gonna steam the clams in that broth. And now I'm going to put, I told you, my garlic bread. I'm gonna put that back in the oven for like six minutes. Okay, six minutes. Okay, and we'll be back once we drop the clams. Okay guys, we're back. This is coming up to a nice boil and I'm gonna drop the clams in, stir them around a little bit, and we're gonna we're gonna cover them and let them steam. Okay. Okay. Cover. Let them steam. I'm gonna let them steam for like four or five minutes. And then we'll be back again. And uh, like I said, and the garlic bread's still in the oven. Okay guys, the timer just went off. Let's see where we're at. No, these aren't ready yet. Some of them are starting to open. So we're gonna go another three minutes. Okay, let's see. In Let's see what's going on here now. Oh, comes. Look at that. Oh, those are those are done for sure. Absolutely done. Oh, there's the timer. So everything's open. Let me turn this off. Put the top down. All right. We're gonna put them in. All right, I have a bowl. I'm going to put them in to serve, but I also have this cheesy garlic bread. 
in the oven. So I'm going to cut that up also. All right, hang on. Let me get pulled together and we'll show you the end result. Okay, so this is out of the oven. I'm going to slice this up. This is what we're going to use to drink up the juice from the clams. That goodness, that beautiful juice goodness that's in the clams, okay? So let's get the clams out now. 